In case you're unaware, in Happy Home Paradise, you are able to decorate these things called facilities. Basically, Lottie will be like, yo, I got this building. It's been vacant. Do you want to make it into like a school or whatever? And then you, you're like, yeah, that sounds freaking amazing. And like, what a random thing to give us in the DLC that's like, honestly, one of the coolest parts of it. Like, who even thought of that? That's just like amazing. I don't know. I'm just, I'm, I'm blown away still. I'm still head over heels in love with the DLC. So far for Lottie, I have built her a school, very cool, and a cafe. And she just recently asked me to do a restaurant. I figured we could do it together. Really quickly though, I did just want to let you know, I do have merch all restocked for the holiday season. The link is in the description, but feel free to check out everything that we have restocked and of course the new things. We do have this really cool sticker bundle. Uh, it's Stardew inspired. Take a good look. If it's for you, it's on the website, you know, come check it out. And of course we have a restock on our live laugh cross design. Um, we have beanies and bucket hats for that one. And of course, a restock of our favorite, the Real Gamers Play Farming Sims t-shirt. The link is in the description. Make sure you come and check it out if you're interested. The first facility that Lottie asks you to do is the school. And I delivered, man. Um, I love my school. It's kind of like a little bit like a party school, you know? We've got some drinks out, a couple little snacks. I kind of decided to go with the DLC trailer kind of design with this gorgeous window. It reminds me of like every school and every TV show ever where the main character kind of sits right here and stares out the window longingly. Um, right now it's Lionel. <laughs> Honestly, I think it's a mood. The students will sometimes sit at the teacher's desk. I like to imagine it's because they are a very good student. But yeah, this is my school. Oh, I want to turn on this TV. It's, oh, just kidding. It's behind these books. Never mind, it's not happening. And of course, I made Pico my school teacher. Look at her, she's working hard, she's teaching. The next facility is the cafe, which is run by Patty and Maple. They're very, very cute. They stand like right here in the front, but I would love for them to just like stand back there. You know what? I think you can, you guys need to go where the workers are supposed to be. Oh no, Miss Maple, she's so tiny. She can't even see past the counter. But this is my cafe. I put a little seating area over here and we got a couple people hanging out and some tables and chairs of course mvp of the entire update best item this crate i'm obsessed with her i put her just about everywhere as many places as i possibly can she is my life and the best thing to ever happen to me <laughs> Again, I love a good window wall. So we did window walls all the way around. Sorry, I don't mean to make you dizzy. And then I wanted to do like a little counter situation with a tiny kitchen back there. And of course it's giving kind of like a cafe vibe, which I guess is probably the point. All right, so you're gonna work on a facility. Which one? I wanna make a restaurant. Can you imagine a cute restaurant in this spot? It's a great location for foot traffic. Designing the exterior, um, I typically have just been going with whatever they randomly generate, but but this is pretty horrendous. Yeah, let's just let's just go with this. I have no idea what kind of restaurant we're gonna do. Is this okay for the exterior? Sure, it's nice and sunshiny. I love that you can take a little bit of liberty with the exteriors like that. I just kind of wish we could do that on our islands with like resident services and nooks and ables and stuff, but beggars can't be choosers. Now we've got to work on getting the interior ready. There are two areas the dining hall and the kitchen. Each one has its own requirements. I can't wait to see what kind of design you come up with. <gasps> Oh my God, I'm gonna take all the liberties. Let's do this. This salad bar is sort of inspiring. Whoa, the crane game. <gasps> oh my God, that is so awesome. So we could really go any direction that we want to. Oh my God, this is crazy. I'm like, do I make an olive garden? What do I do? Train window? <gasps> what? Oh my God, it's like you're on a train. That is bizarre, okay. You know what? Since I don't know what kind of restaurant I wanna do, I think I'm gonna go and do the kitchen first and then we'll see what happens, how we get inspired. Okay, wow, I love this flooring by the way. This is awesome. This is such a cool item, the little stove. What? are the required items here. 
stovetops just need multiple i mean i don't think there's anything wrong with just having two of these puppies i might as well just start adding these yup oh that's that's perfect i'll probably end up changing the walls and possibly the floors a little bit later but we'll see because i kind of like this idea of doing a sort of like industrial kitchen i feel like a hanging monitor would be great to keep track of orders possibly i might have to change up where that's placed i do wish it kind of went a little bit lower Ooh, this is fun and then pots and pans, pot rack, do stainless steel, very clean and kitchenly. Just gonna do two of those, F it. Make it nice and symmetrical, I do like that. I think we definitely need a little trash can. I'm gonna go with this garbage pail. I do wish there was just like a big open trash can, um, but this one works. I'm gonna make a little cleaning corner over here. Perfect, I love that, mm, that mop and that pail. That's a good one. So this little um, salad bar, thing I feel like that could be really interesting maybe right here because what I'm thinking is like we can make like a little expo station on this side and then on this side would be like food prep of course and this is kind of the flow of traffic here oh uh, what are we thinking <laughs> definitely we'll do kitchen counters I think I'm gonna have to put the dishwasher back there we'll just put the garbage over here just for Funsies. Okay, ceiling decor. These hanging shelves could potentially be kind of useful. Natural wood. I don't know. They're very high. They have little plates and dishes on them, and I think it could potentially be kind of cute. Why are they so high? Like, in what world would a villager be able to reach that? Maybe I'll put her over here. I don't know. Definitely some fluorescent lighting. Dual hanging monitors. That could be very interesting so that everyone can read orders. Cute. Maybe this light's a little bit of overkill just because it's kind of crowded back there. I think we need a fridge. I love the stainless steel look. Stacked fish containers. Ooh, could we make a fish restaurant? Shoot, I wish I had more room. You know what? Might have to consolidate this a bit. Yeah, no, this is gonna be way better. Have a little more room for activities. Kind of like that. Oh, that's great. Yeah, great idea. Okay, I'm moving the fridge over here. I think it would make a little bit more sense, I suppose. I would love to put maybe just another counter back here. Oh, we also have this carp on a cutting board, you know? I like that. <laughs> Gonna move our knives because, you know, you need knives to cut carp, maybe. Oh my god, this is awesome! Oh, we have so many things. A deep fryer? Ooh, okay, we're gonna move the carp. I'm not moving the knives. We're gonna put a little deep fryer back here. Aw, oh, yeah, baby. That is so freaking sick. Some other cooking items. We've got frying pan, of course. I still don't know what kind of restaurant we're gonna be. Should we just do like a cute little Italian restaurant? What do you deep fry in Italian restaurant? Uh, cannoli. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. What is a chafing dish? Oh, okay. We've got a little chafing dish. <laughs> I don't know where to put you yet. I think a cutesy little Italian restaurant would be amazing. I'm totally gonna do that. I don't even care. You know what, we're gonna put a little of pizza. Okay, what's next? I'm gonna put this by our little dishwasher stash, just cause I feel like it kind of makes sense. I have a little bit of like a cleaning stash near the dishwasher stash. Oh, you know that item that has like a bunch of little snacks on it? Yes. I feel like that wouldn't be too bad pantry staples oh yeah oh yeah let's put a couple of these right here yeah kind of like a little food storage and then i really don't know what to put in this back corner nothing is speaking to me yet you know what we don't have a single place to wash hands this is unacceptable completely unsanitary i'm so embarrassed Okay, that kind of works. I just moved these guys over and I put the sink right there. And maybe we don't need anything back. No, we do need something back there. <gasps> I just had an idea and you're never gonna believe it. The wooden box comes and saves the day yet again. An absolute legend. It's the perfect item. You cannot tell me that that is not perfect now. I love the flooring. I don't think we're gonna change that. Maybe like a little bit of like a white brick, just to kind of, you know, lighten up the space. I think that's way nicer than concrete wall. Okay, very cute, very cute. Do we have little mats, little rugs? 
that we could put down. Oh my god! It's like a real kitchen. I never found a place for this. I think we're gonna get rid of it. Bye! I'm so glad that we did this one first because now I'm feeling very inspired. I really hope I can pull off a little Italian restaurant. Okay, wow. Yeah, welcome to our Italian restaurant back here. I think we gotta get rid of all of this. Goodbye. Now, very important. What are we doing with the walls? We have this retro restaurant wall, which I think is darling. We can change the size. I don't know. I already like to make things cluttered and I don't want to over clutter for sure. So I'm thinking this is a really, really nice wall. Do I add an accent wall? It could be like a nice just little window along the back. The arched window wall is always an excellent bet. Personally, I'm always a big fan of that one. Blackboard wall. Now, this is kind of fun. Anyways, it's, it, I don't know what it is, but it's giving breakfast. Ooh, why am I such a hater? I don't know why I do this. A little window wall back here. People could go sit by the window. No, I liked my original idea with the little windows back here. Why do I keep doing this? Okay. Next, I would like to make a little hostess stand. I'll go with a little bit of a natural wood here. I think it would be so cute to have a little hostess stand right when you walk in. And then should we do a bit of like a partition behind that? I don't know. Oh, the stained glass light is kind of perfect, actually. I am so excited about this light. It's so pretty. And you can customize it. Oh, perfect. Oh, grapes. Grapes. Oh, we could make this one like a big family booth. Okay, that's very nice. We need a big table. What if we did this? Yes. Okay, pillars, pillars, pillars. I think that that would really help with the outside here. Cuteness. I would love to make some little booths. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, that's really actually perfect. Kind of exactly the vision I was going for. Vertical split curtains. Like, what are you? What are you doing here? What is your purpose in life? Is it that? Oh, also, I don't. I didn't put a place for... Damn it. Okay, wait, hold on. I didn't put like another chair there in the booth area. Mm, we're fixing. We're fixing her. I'm kind of not really feeling this little family booth thing anymore. Oh. <gasps> Large covered round table. Oh, this is great. <gasps> I'm starting to think I need to go a whole different direction. Ah! We could do not olive garden core. We're doing it. We're starting over. This has really served us for this moment. I don't know why. I just, I guess this table, I think it did something to me. I think it possessed me. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Oh my God, she's perfect. <gasps> she's perfect. It's not very conventional for a circle table to have chairs like this, but it's very awkward. I feel like an Animal Crossing because you can't tuck in the chairs. So, so you kind of just have to like do what you gotta do. I think the direction we went in was Cheesecake Factory. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. <laughs> Spaghetti Genovese. Oh, this milk glass lamp is so pretty. Yeah, you know what? I think we deserve her. I would like to add a little bit of rug action. A good rug can always bring things together. Okay, this is a very big rug. Kind of unconventional, but can she work like this? No, not on my watch. Oh, that's a good time. That's a good time right there. That little iron entrance mat. It's subtle, but it's there. Of course, a little flower stand would be just darling. Standing shop sign, standing electric sign, menu chalkboard. I'm tempted to just do a good old menu chalkboard, but this thing has like a little pasta sign. I guess I'm just gonna add tables and chairs just everywhere. So something that I really noticed with my cafe is that everybody kind of has like a hard time walking around if there's no clear path, which like, duh, you know what I mean? <laughs> to me, I love being a clutter queen. So I most definitely um, wanna say that I don't care. However, I do kind of care. I'm gonna leave a lot of like open space and just kind of keep it really basic, I guess. Do a little touch screen, cash reggie, a little trash can would be very helpful. Oh, I love that little busser station item. Where are you? That's weird. That's weird that they wouldn't suggest that as part of the um, restaurant build because that's a very good item. This one right here, the busing station. I'm gonna do light wood. 
We have lots of wood going on, why not more? I wanna make this a little waiting area with a couch or something like that, but I sort of hate this idea that villagers are gonna sit on it. <laughs> Is that horrible? Like, I don't know, I just feel they should be sitting at the little tables and having dinner together. So I'm trying to think of something cute that I could put right there. Do a little antique console table moment. And then you know what? Why not just put veggie basket, perhaps a little lamp or something. This is the dilemma. I always get to this point where I'm like, should I? Shouldn't I? What should I do? It's like, shut up woman, just put the damn thing down. Do a little vase back there. Oh, awesome. Let me just finish off the walls and then I think I will be good. Okay, I'm starting to like experiment with some of these floors too, now that I'm all done. I don't know, I kind of like a darker floor. I feel like it really makes like the tables pop. Whoa, with all the lights turned off. What if we did something? Oh my God, how fancy. <gasps> That's so precious. I love it. I've hit all the requirements as well. Let's decide who will be working here. This is very important. The chef can be Sky. Who all is here? I want to give Gloria a chance. Don't you think Gloria could be a very good chef? The apprentice being Bob. Now, I kind of love it. Cashier, Knox. I kind of hate him. So, <laughs> I think I'm gonna put Vesta as our cashier and employee Bones. Oh, we need to name the restaurant. I have no idea. I think I'm just gonna call it the Cheesecake Factory. Cheesecake Factory. I definitely wanna name it Cheesecake Factory. Right! People are eating here. It looks so good. I honestly forgot that we did this already. <laughs> Bob and Gloria in there just like working their little butts off. I'm glad they can kind of walk around a little bit too. That's good. I don't know. Kind of slayed the kitchen. Why is he sitting alone? That's so sad. Marina, go sit with him. It's horrible. Clay and Tipper are having dinner together. I think we did a really good job on this. I think it's very much giving Cheesecake Factory in a very beautiful and loving way. Well, that was a doozy. Lots of thought went into that one, okay? I felt like I was immersed inside of this deal see it's just honestly it's so much fun to me still i'm taking it slow of course if you'd like to come and hang out with us on twitch twitch.tv slash finesse cross girl i stream every day i play animal crossing on there so feel free to come hang out do like the day-to-day -day stuff with us and don't forget about my socials instagram we've got twitter as well as our discord merch link down below if you still wanted to go check that out i hope you're having a great day and you continue to do so i will see you in the next one